The Minimag solution and recovery tank is held in place with two quick release clips located on the left and right side of the tank assembly. It's important that both tanks are empty before tilting these tanks back. Before operating your Mini Mag, it's important to check your batteries for any type of acid spill that may have occurred during shipping. Note, it is important to use latex gloves and safety glasses whenever working with lead acid batteries. Before operating your Mini Mag Auto Scrubber, it is important to check the fluid level in each and every one of the battery cells. It is also important to use distilled water when topping off the battery cells. The Tomcat Mini Mag has a 17 gallon solution tank that feeds water from the rear of the machine to the front of the scrub deck. This water is carried forward through a 400 mesh stainless steel screen. The screen is located just above the scrub deck and should be cleaned at least once a week for proper machine operation. Next, the solution leaves the solution screen and enters the solution on and off solenoid valve and enters the scrub deck for the proper solution dispersal through the shower feed brush assembly. The Tomcat Mini Mat has a quick release brush hubs. Simply depress the brush clips and the brush will release automatically as shown. All scrub brushes have a shower feed solution port that distributes cleaning solution equally throughout the entire brush assembly. Each brush is gimbal mounted so that the brushes will scrub evenly even on the most uneven of floor surfaces. To reinstall the brush, just simply hook the brush onto one of the corner hubs and press on as shown. If your Mini Mag is equipped with a cylindrical scrub deck, it is important to know the use and care of this deck assembly. To access the cylindrical scrub brushes of your Mini Mag, first remove the brass lock nut located on the front of the brush panel, as shown. Next, press the spring loaded release clip. Remove the brush panel accordingly. Once removed, simply pull the cylindrical brush out of the brush channel. In order to maintain maximum brush life, it is important to flip the brushes after every 25 hours of operation. It is also important to keep the brushes in the same brush channel. By doing so and following these procedures, you will ensure maximum brush life. Once the brush panel has been removed, check the hub gasket on the brush hub for wear or damage. If damage or wear presents itself, replace accordingly. Also, check behind the brush hub to ensure that it is free of string wraps and dirt. If found, clean accordingly. This will save your brush bearing from premature wear. When mounting your brush plate, first line up your brush hub to the brush itself. Also note that there are two pilot pins that will guide you when mounting the plate. These pilot pins will line up with the pilot holes on the brush panel as shown. When mounting, line up the pilot pins to the pilot holes and gently lift up on the brush panel as shown to ensure a proper fit. When in place, close the locking clip and ensure the brush plate is perfectly snug against the brush deck. Lastly, replace your brass screw accordingly. One other item to check is to make sure that the deck skirts are level with the ground when the deck is in the down position, as shown. If not, adjust them accordingly. Your cylindrical mini scrubber is equipped with a debris tray. It is important to empty this tray throughout your cleaning cycle. To do so, remove the tray from the operator's left side. There are drain holes located on the bottom of the tray to clear the debris of any residual water. At the end of the day, simply flush the debris tray until it is clear of dirt and debris and replace accordingly. 
caution, clear both hinge clips before closing the solution tank. Once the water has worked its way through the scrub brush assembly, it will enter the squeegee and be recovered by a powerful vacuum motor and sucked into the recovery tank. The recovery water will pass through a drain saver that will recover any debris that the squeegee has recovered, thus eliminating the clogging of any of your drain hoses. The vac motor is protected by a removable float shutoff that can be easily cleaned and serviced after your daily scrubbing operations. Once cleaned out, lock the auto lock clip on tightly as shown. The Tomcat Mini Mag can be filled from the front or the rear of the machine. Filling from the front port is protected by a 400 stainless steel mesh screen that eliminates debris from entering the solution tank. The machine can also be filled from the rear using a hose or an auto solution station. Below this is a solution sight gauge that can also be used to evacuate the clean water tank if needed. The handle assembly of the Mini Mag can be adjusted to ergonomically fit the height of the operator. Consult your owner's manual for making these adjustments. Every Mini Mag auto scrubber comes with a spare key. This key should be kept with the ship supervisor in case the primary key is ever lost. To power up your Mini Mag Auto Scrubber, install the key into this key switch port located on the operator's left side of the control column. Turn the key to the on position. Once the key is turned to the on position, the LCD display will show a battery indicator, water set indicator, and brush brush set indicator. Also, symbols of a brush, water spigot, and vacuum shoe will illuminate when the systems are activated as shown. Located on the left side of the control panel is a green button. When pressed, this will display the hour meter consisting of the key switch hour meter, the drive motor hour meter, the scrub motor hour meter, and the vacuum motor hour meter. These can be used in conjunction with your preventive maintenance program. The Minimag control panel layout from the operator's left to the right position consists of the following. The reverse switch, the blue colored water control toggle with six position LCD icon, the black colored down pressure toggle with five position LCD icon, and to the right of the water and down pressure toggle is the scrub deck raise and lower switch. To the far right of the control panel is the variable control speed knob. Located under each handle are two control buttons. Once depressed, all the systems will activate. These buttons are spring loaded and will automatically return to the standby position when your hands are removed. Lastly, the squeegee lever and vacuum activation handle is located at the top of the control panel. Moving the lever from the left to the right will lower the squeegee and activate the vacuum motor as shown.